Do you get caught in those loops of negative self-talk? You know the kind. The why me's, the not good enoughs, or the self-blame. If you do, then you know how isolating this kind of mind chatter can make you feel. Sound familiar? Then you are definitely in need of some self-compassion. Let's practice. Hey there, Mindful Masters, and welcome back for yet another experiential skills clip on your journey of mastering adulthood. The skills we all need sometimes to go beyond adulting and become an emotional grown-up. If you haven't got the book yet, do click the link and join us in mapping out your journey of self-discovery and emotional self-care. Self-compassion is a practice which actively promotes a sense of kindness towards yourself and connectedness to your universal humanity. Now, notice if your mind starts offering you up thoughts of, oh, this is a little too woo-woo for me, or you feel a bit awkward. Just notice that. It's not uncommon to feel a little awkward when you first start practicing self-compassion. The question is, are you willing to stick with it anyway in the service of your emotional self-care? Let's practice. Three particular qualities of attention have been highly related to the beneficial effects of self-compassion practice in the lab, and those include warmth, a soothing voice tone, and physical touch. So I'm gonna go through a few physical touch positions and I'd like you to choose the one that most resonates with you. The first one is simply placing two hands over each other on your chest. Notice how that feels. The next one is giving yourself a gentle hug. Notice how that feels. The next one is placing both hands on your cheeks. Just like that. Notice how that feels. And lastly, taking a fisted hand and placing a flat palm over it. And notice how that feels. Okay, so next, we're going to use the position that you find resonates most strongly with you in the presence of some discomfort. Just as with all of our emotion skills practices, I'm going to invite you to contemplate something with which you've been struggling. It might be an ongoing situation in your life or a recent event, or maybe you're starting to identify a pattern in your dashboard forms. You might choose to press pause while you consider, and then we can continue with the exercise. Okay, got something? Excellent willingness. As always with this exercise, I'd like you to take a comfortable seated position, or if you're lying down, that can work too for this one. But we're going to bring to mind that difficult situation and then practice in the presence of that difficulty. Self-compassion practice. I'd like you to take a moment to allow any thoughts, images, or memories about a situation with which you've been struggling to come up into your awareness. As best you can, bring to mind that difficulty with which you've been struggling and see and recall who was there, what happened, and allow the emotions you feel about the situation to start to bubble up in your awareness. Really connect with that difficulty you've been experiencing. And when you're ready, assume the touch position you identified as comforting for you. And in your mind's eye, in a warm and soothing voice tone, slowly repeat after me. This is a moment of suffering. I see you there, emotions, and as best you can, label the emotion you're experiencing. This is really hard right now. I honor that this suffering is part of being human. I am not alone in these feelings. May I be kind with myself.
and noticing how you feel as we go through this exercise. Repeating in your own mind's eye. This is a moment of suffering. I see you there, sadness or anxiety or frustration or disappointment. Label your emotion in this moment. This is really hard right now. I honor that this suffering is part of being human. I am not alone in these feelings. May I be kind with myself. Taking a mental snapshot of how you feel. Taking one last deep breath. Whenever you're ready, we can open our eyes. How was that practice for you? What did you notice? Of course, you can change the wording so it sounds a bit more natural to your ear. The important part is that you include the warm and gentle voice tones, the self-touch, and this genuine felt sense of self-kindness and connectedness to others. You might take a moment to journal your own version of a self-compassion mantra in your journal, or maybe do a dashboard form if you noticed any difficulty around the exercise. If you have any questions or comments, do shoot me a comment in the comment section below this video, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions. And I will see you back at the book to continue your journey to mastering adulthood.